Honda is the unrivaled titan of motorbike production and a trendsetter for the entire industry of two-wheelers. Therefore, any self-respecting motorcycle enthusiast must be in the know about the new models and innovations offered by this Japanese manufacturer. Today, we are happy to introduce to you a lineup of the freshest 2023 motorcycles and scooters from Honda. Katana Sharp Bodywork, Upgraded Engines, and reliable equipment that won't bankrupt the average consumer. This is what the upcoming Honda bikes are all about. So, subscribe to Automotive Territory and let's explore the newcomers. Enjoy the ride! Honda Rebel CMX 1100T This is a touring version of the Rebel CMX 1100 which was introduced in 2021. The bike wears an all-new gunmetal black metallic paint scheme, gets all LED lighting, and benefits from a newly added aerodynamic half fairing. Dedicated to long-distance cruising, the T also comes equipped with hard panniers for all of your must-have items. Just as the regular model, it is motivated by a 1084cc parallel twin, paired with a 3.6-gallon fuel tank and an optional 6-speed DCT. The engine management is done through throttle by wire. There are three riding modes and a Honda selectable torque control with three levels. Other advanced features of the bike include cruise control and a negative LCD instrument display. Finally, the suspension of the CMX 1100T is unchanged from the standard model. This means 43 mm cartridge style forks and piggyback rear shock absorbers. Honda XL750 Transalp Inspired by the original 1986 model, the Transalp moniker returns as a middleweight adventure bike. Designed by the brand's Italian R&D department, its sleek bodywork balances on-road functionality and off-road ability. The riding position is upright, and the overall geometry allows for standing up on the foot pegs. The mismatched 21 and 18-inch wheel set signals the bike's adventure nature, and the standard seat is positioned 33.5 inches above the ground. The new Transalp gets a full Showa suspension with 43mm separate function fork and a remote reservoir monoshock. Another advantage of this Honda is its newly developed parallel twin engine with 755cc displacement and 270 degree crankshaft. Good for 90 horses and 55 pound feet, the middle is paired with a 6 speed gearbox, slip and assist clutch, and ride by wire throttle system. It can operate according to 4 preset ride modes or the 5th individual mode. Honda CB750 Hornet This is yet another project by Honda's Rome Design Division that brings to the market the company's new 755cc parallel twin engine with 90 horses. Like its predecessors, the new Hornet belongs to a class of middleweight nakeds. Underpinned by a chassis similar to the one in CB500F, the model gets a full Showa suspension, a 41mm fork, and a shock working through ProLink. Its wheels are 17 inches and they house Nissan brake calipers. The bike offers an extensive package of electronic features, with ride-by-wire as standard. Riders can switch between three wide modes, as well as three traction control, three power output, and three engine braking levels. Many of the settings are shown on the new 5-inch TFT display that is Bluetooth connectivity and Honda voice control. Honda Forza 125 and 350 This year, the lower displacement models from Honda's premium line of scooters are brought to the same level of styling refinement as the range-topping Forza 750. The standard kit of equipment includes an electronically adjustable screen, smart key operation, USB-C socket, traction control, and storage space for two full-faced helmets. The front fascia boosts sleeker looking split LED headlights, new fairing, and a dashboard tweaked to have a better layout. The running gear chassis, and engines remain unchanged. Therefore, the liquid-cooled single-cylinder engines with 125 and 330cc displacements are still enhanced with the Smart Power Plus technology and deliver outstanding fuel efficiency. In 2023, the 125 Forza is also offered in a special edition version with a matte gray metallic paint, contrasting red wheels, seat stitching, dial surrounds, 
logos, and detailing. In turn, the 350 features Honda's smartphone voice control system compatible with iOS devices. If you want us to cover other Japanese motorbike manufacturers and their 2023 lineups, make sure to smash the like button and leave a comment below, simply saying, I want more. Thanks for the feedback, and we keep rolling. Honda CL500 Honda's new Scrambler will be the company's fifth middleweight model built around the 471cc parallel twin. A reliable workhorse perfectly slots into Europe's A2 license category, producing 46 horsepower and 32 pound-feet of torque. Though CL500's frame and bodywork are largely borrowed from the Rebel 500, there are several differences that set the new model apart. Firstly, it gets a modified rear section in order to accommodate a tall flat seat. Thanks to larger 16-inch front and 17-inch rear wheels, it offers improved ground clearance of 6.1 inches. The non-adjustable front fork has 5.9 inches of travel, while a set of twin shocks gets 5-step preload adjustability. Honda also installed the upswept dual exit exhaust muffler with a stainless steel heat guard. For the asking price, around 7 k every CL500 comes with a circular headlight with 4 LED units, a simple LCD instrument cluster, 2-channel ABS, and light dual-purpose tires. Honda CRF 450R 2023 marks the 50th anniversary since the debut of Honda's first built-from-scratch competition dirt bike CR250M Elsinore. This retro bike is being commemorated with a limited edition of the CRF 450R, which in turn is heavily modified for the upcoming model year. The motocrosser went through a rigidity modification of the frame and replaced aluminum engine mounts with steel. The shock absorber and 49mm front fork by Showa were returned to accommodate the new frame. As a result, riders get more stable braking, faster turns, and stronger corner exits. The 450cc 4-valve Unicam engine makes the same 35 pound-feet of torque, but due to narrower intake port shape, longer air fuel, 44mm throttle body, new valve timing, and revised ECU settings, 7% more torque is available at low 5,000 RPM. Honda EM1E The company's first electric scooter for the European market is scheduled to arrive next summer, but Honda has already disclosed some details. The EM1E targets the younger audience. This largely dictates its clean and modern styling with a short wheelbase and ample space over the floorboards. The scoot's rear-wheel electric motor is juiced by a single battery, and though Honda is yet to specify the tech numbers, the latter is the key feature of the new model. The two-seater comes equipped with Honda's mobile power pack, which means that it is removable and can be charged at home. The scooter will also get access to Honda's battery swap infrastructure that is expected to extend across different brands like Suzuki, Piaggio, Yamaha, and KTM. As for the EM1E, Honda promises about 25 miles of range and speeds reaching 28 mph. Honda CRF300L For the 2023 model year, Honda's popular small-bore dual sport bike arrives with a standard red paint scheme, but it also offers an all-new swift gray livery, with orange bits on the fuel tank and black handguards. Honda claims that the bike's riding position is specifically set up to promote easy steering. Coupled with an ultra-slim tank design and wet weight of just 313 pounds, this ensures easy handling during off-roading and urban riding. The 2023 CRF300L keeps everything simple on the mechanical fronts, carrying over the overall setup from the previous year. The 286cc liquid-cooled single cylinder produces 27 horsepower and almost 20 pound-feet of twist. Up front, the bike gets a 43mm Showa inverted fork, while the rear work is accomplished by the Pro-Link suspension. Dual-channel ABS is standard. Honda DAX 125 Also known as Honda ST, the brand's minibike icon is being revived for 2023, after its 40-plus year hiatus in Europe. The new DAX retains the predecessor's distinctive T-shaped monocoque frame, tiny fuel tank, and small wheels, bringing the 1970s style into our century. 
Such trademark features as a fat dual seat, an upsweep exhaust pipe, high mini A panel bars, and a black retro stripe on the frame are also retained. The Honda is powered by 124cc air-cooled single-cylinder engine with only 9 horses and a 4-speed semi-auto transmission. Despite the modest output, Honda claims that the new DAX can reach 55 mph top speed with a passenger. In every other aspect, the retro-inspired minibike is a modern machine equipped with standard LED lighting, high-quality suspension front and rear, an IMU-based anti-lock braking, and a circular negative LCD instrument display. Honda Cub E, DAX E, Zoomer E By 2024, Honda plans to introduce five compact affordable electric motorcycles across Asia, Europe, and Japan. The first three models are going after the Gen Z consumers, who value smart gadgets and like expressing themselves via their vehicles. These mini bikes are inspired by their iconic internal combustion predecessors. The Cub E is based on the Super Cub and has 40 miles of range reserves. The DAX E has a unique T shaped frame, 50 miles of range, and is obviously based on the DAX. Finally, the Zoomer E brings back the 2002 Zoomer moniker. It uses a pipe frame, is third party accessory ready, and delivers 59 miles of all electric range. How do you like the newcomers from Honda? Have you spotted any model that should be added to your wish list for 2023? Let's talk this over in the comments section. Make sure to encourage our efforts by delivering informative content about motorbikes by smashing the like button. Check out more videos by Automotive Territory through the links on the screen, and may the torque be with you.